Hey everybody, this is Adam with the Productivity Academy. Uh, today we're going to dive a little bit more into Focuster. So, so what we're going to go over is uh, some little cool ways you can set this up uh, that I was unaware of, and this may be obvious to some people, but this is quickly becoming what might be a replacement for a Todoist for me. Um, I think I'll probably keep using Todoist because I can share it with teams, um, but personally I'm finding this more and more useful and I wanted to share that uh, with you as I've, a lot of you have seen this channel or seen my videos understand that I'm a big fan of Todoist um, and I like the layout, uh, but Focuster is becoming um, my go-to as far as time management as well as some of the task management. Uh, so, real quick, if you want to, in the video or the description below, you can click on the links. Um, I've got some awesome content down there you can get to. Um, you can sign up to get emails, and that's just for updated content. And I send out some cool stuff every now and again to subscribers only. Um, so, if you want to do that, you can. You can also click subscribe and get um, notified when there's updated content. So, let's dive into this. So I've probably gone over this before, but I just want to show you real quick that um, you've got the three panes here. You've got your uh, calendar, and it, it ties in with your uh, Google Calendar. And then you've got your date here, and then you've got to-dos over here. Okay, so right away if you're like, ah, oh, to-do list, like where's my big list, I and mean, how do I sort all this by day? And Okay, so that's what I did when I started using it. I mean, this over here should be self-explanatory. This is awesome. It, auto pulls in your calendar and you can select which calendar so if you have multiple calendars you can go into the settings and choose which ones and then you go over here and you can say okay today is for example the first of February in the real world and I want to make a task called do something and I want to spend 30 minutes on it alright you click that and since my day is basically booked up right now um, what this is gonna do is in a minute it's gonna go ahead and schedule it you can see it updating here and it's going to put it in there, yep, and say, ah, okay, there's no more time left in the day you have allotted. So I've gone ahead and it's due tomorrow. Okay. Going to go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. And then you can come over here, and this is kind of neat. This is where you can add different things. So let's say maybe we want to create a new list, and I want to call this um, home. You know, this is where I want to get started doing things like um, take out the trash. And that's going to take 15 minutes for some reason. <laughs> and then... Uh, we'll add one more in here, like uh, do laundry. And that's going to take me 10 minutes because I'm really fast. All right, and then if you don't want to see that, you can just click on there and get rid of that. Okay, kind of handy. And what you do is you have tasks, you can say, ah, okay, I want to do that today. And depending on how you use this and what plans you have, you can say, like, oh, okay, I want to go to Thursday, and that's when I want to take out the trash. Okay, so pretty cool. And I'm going to wait for this to update and then show you what happens here. All right, let's say we get to Thursday, we click on take out the trash, boom, it's gone from your to-do list. Pretty cool. So I just wanted to show you a quick overview on that um, and show you how I'm starting to use it. It's very helpful for time management, uh, for actually being able to predict how much time you're going to spend on something. Um, not that it can predict for you, but you've got to really put some thought into it and say, okay, how can I you know, fit what I think I need to do into the time that I actually have available. So very powerful. Um, highly suggest you check it out. Uh, so again, if you're interested in getting my videos regularly, just click on subscribe. You can also visit the website at productivity.academy. And the link below will also take you to the site where you can sign up and stay up to date with stuff. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.